Cannabis is changing fast, so you don't have time to waste. MJ BizCon gives you the tools and the connections that you need to survive and thrive in 2023 and beyond. Join us in Vegas, November 15th through the 18th, and you'll find 35,000 power players in cannabis, 1,400 vendors who will fuel your growth, and fact-based insight on election results, growth projections, regulatory reform, and business management. It's your one real shot to gain a competitive edge in cannabis. So you get your tickets today at mjbizcon.com and get 10% off using promo code PODCAST. That's mjbizcon.com, promo code PODCAST, and we will see you there. It's just get it done. And so I went out there, I checked out the archives. You know, we understood what, what Don and the Napoleon Hill Foundation wanted. We knew what Russell wanted. And then eventually we were able to get them both what exactly what they wanted. You know, Russell wants the, the, the original manuscripts and the first editions and the typewriters and the artifacts to put into his library slash museum. And uh, the Napoleon Hill Foundation, uh, they want to raise money for scholarships. So kids, underprivileged kids like me, Welcome to the Miracle Plant Podcast, the show that inspires, promotes, and gives you a daily dose of inspiration from the people who have used cannabis to change their lives in extraordinary ways. Here's your host, Justin Benton. Welcome back to the Miracle Plant Podcast, where we discuss this miracle plant with so many names and how it's helping people in so many extraordinary ways. Well, we had an absolute breakthrough uh, experience these last few days, and um, I'm just so excited to be able to share it with you. As, as you've focused and heard over these past few weeks of, and episodes that you know we've been working alongside you know the Napoleon Hill Foundation and Russell Brunson and all of the mindset and all of the things to you know because we were we were in the physical world before March of 2022 of 2020, excuse me, and. And we had our plan to do the reach a billion people um, by being in chiropractors' physical stores and doing all the things that needed to be done and opening in other countries and and uh, plan everything was according to plan. Um, but as we all know, when March 2020 hit, things shifted and everyone started shopping online, and uh, those numbers are you know somewhere in the 60 to 70 percent of Americans primarily shop online. And now we're talking groceries and food delivery and just about anything else you can possibly think of with a click of a button shows up on your front doorstep. And when this shift happened, we had to make sure that we had our products and our systems in place to make sure people could find us so we could reach that billion people. Well, how we've done that is we went out and, and we, we, you know, basically went down the rabbit hole of rabbit holes with Russell Brunson because he's the online marketing, online sales guru. And, uh, you know, we've, we've got real, you know, all of his masterminds and all of his books and all of his courses and our whole, whole team just totally went all in when it came to Russell Brunson. And so um, over the past year or so, um, Russell talks about this thing called uh, the Dream 100. And actually he talks about it a lot in his three books. Uh, specifically Traffic Secrets, which came out March of 2020, talks about this Dream 100. And so the, basically the Dream 100, which originally was um, you know, first talked about by Chet Holmes in the book, The Ultimate Sales Machine. And it basically was like your whale list. So if you were looking for like who are the biggest clients, you know, Chet Holmes talks about working with Charlie Munger, who was Warren Buffett's partner in the magazine division. And he had like a hundred of the biggest magazine ad buyers. And so he would send the mail and gifts and everything he possibly could to get in front of them. And after a few months, he still hadn't heard anything. But then by the end of the year, he had heard from like 38 and they all signed up <laughs> and he had the record numbers and they went from the worst magazine uh, in sales in their division to the, to the highest. And that was the first time we'd ever heard about the Dream 100 with Chet Holmes. Well, when Russell wrote his books, um, specifically Traffic Secrets, 
uh, the Dream 100 was who out there has 100, who's the top 100 people that already have collected or assembled your Dream 100 audiences. So like his was Tony Robbins and he knew that if he could get in front of Tony Robbins' audience, those would be his ideal customers in Tony Robbins' audience. So when I first read that back in March of 2020 when Traffic Secrets came out, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so brilliant. I had never heard of the Dream 100 like that. And so I started to make my list and then I figured, well, why not put the guy at the top of the list who taught me the Dream 100? It's kind of like, you know, poetic justice, if you will. And so, you know, I started working with him and a buddy of mine, Christopher Voss, uh, was helping me out as well. And, uh, you know, we started, he actually had an idea that we we should get um, Russell uh, an avocado tree in his name and then send him avocados uh, every like 90 days or something. And I thought that was a brilliant idea, but I said, I can, I can one up you there, Christopher. Uh, I actually have avocado trees in my front yard <laughs> out here in Southern California. And so I sent him, um, some avocados and, uh, and actually Christopher helped me and all that good stuff. And we ended up overnighting 12 avocados for my front yard in a, in a cool FedEx box all packed nicely, uh, which was like $500 for our free avocados. <laughs> But it, it struck the chord and because they are the best tasting avocados on the planet. Uh, just a real nutty, oily thing. Anywho, that was the beginning of me doing a Dream 100 Russell style to Russell. And so the reason I bring that up is that this past week um, was basically the, the climax of the last year and a half of that Dream 100. About six months ago... Um, there was an auction for Napoleon Hill rare artifacts and books in LA. And I had put it out into a Facebook group, um, Russell Brunson's Inner Circle Mastermind Group, and just let everyone know, hey, if anyone's interested, um, there's an auction in LA and uh, hit me up if you want the deets, you know, on the auctions for Napoleon Hill. And literally like 10 minutes later, Voxer, uh, Russell loves Voxer, so I get a Voxer. It's an app. It's like walkie-talkie. Uh, I get a Voxer from Russell, and he's like, hey, dude, what's the deets? And so I was like, well, here's the deets and, and uh, you know, all this good stuff. And, and he was ready just to buy the whole lot, sight unseen, because he's in Idaho. And, you know, the, um, the uh, auction's in L.A., and, you know, Russell has his family and his business. And, you know, he really loves being around uh, both of them and doesn't really like to travel unless he has to. And he doesn't have to, so he doesn't travel much unless he's going to one of his events. Anyways, I said, I'm more than happy to go down there. It's down the street. And uh, why don't I see what's up for auction? And then I'll just give you the details. And why don't you send over everything that you already have and everything that you want? And so that's what I did. So then I went down and uh, I met the uh, president of the Napoleon Hill Foundation, Don Green. And uh, got, you know, to meet him and talk with him. And I said, you know, what's, what do you got? And I started taking pictures of everything. And I sent everything back to Russell. And I said, hey, Russell, like, this is what they have that you don't have. So we'll work on these. And so I ended up um, being, um, you know, by proxy, Russell's, uh, you know, Johnny on the spot to get him all these gifts. And so I, uh, I got all the things that he didn't have. And they were super cool. And, like, even NFTs and, like, a signed check from Napoleon Hill for a film production company, which has special significance and, uh, you know, all this other cool stuff, you know, signed books and things. And, uh, it was, it was, it was a cool experience. And so then I'm, I got all these cool, uh, you know, gifts and everything. And so then I'm like, you know, of course you could just FedEx it. Right. But, but is that the cool way to do it? I mean, is that, is that the best possible way, uh, you could possibly do it? Cause I know like the book that just came out with Steve Sims is go for stupid is the name of it. Like, how ridiculous could you do anything in life if you if you knew you couldn't fail and money wasn't an option? And so for me, it was like, well, I should hand deliver these books and these artifacts, fly to Boise, Idaho, and hand deliver them in a suitcase that has click funnels on the outside that my son won at Unlock the Secrets, which is this awesome event in the summertime they put on for families. And uh, so that's what I did. I hopped on a plane. And I, I let Russell know, like, this Friday work or next Friday? <laughs> and he's kind of like, well, I guess this Friday works. And so I showed up and, and uh, I brought him all the goodies. And I even handcuffed my hand to the, um, the suitcase. So we had, like, the video guy was there and, 
and it just kind of, you know, for, you know, drama, you know, dramatic effect or whatever. And, uh, which was funny that I actually left the key in the Napoleon Hill room, which he showed me, he's got a couple rooms and, uh, you know, safes and all this cool stuff. He showed me all this stuff. So I was actually, <laughs> hey, I, the key was left there. Fortunately, I had a screwdriver and, and, uh, my boy Garrett Poole taught me also how to, uh, pick, uh, handcuffs, which is why I had handcuffs in the first place. Anyway, so that was the beginning of me becoming the co-curator of the Napoleon Hill Library and the Russell Brunson Library that he's building out there in Boise. So after that, uh, I continued um, to, you know, talk with Russell and, and see what else we could do. And he just, you know, he, you know, I said, you know, is there anything else you want? And he goes, well, you know, I feel like I'm kind of at a standstill. And, and he just was kind of like deflated by the whole um, process. I said, well, why don't you let me help? And eventually he said, okay, fine. If you, if you think you, if you think you can do more, then go for it. And so I, uh, I worked on the relationship for months on end and I, I ended up flying out to Napoleon Hill out in Wise, Virginia myself, um, on my dime and didn't, you know, ask for anything or anything like that. And there's this, uh, letter to Garcia, which is a great, um, a book to read an article and it, it's, uh, you know, you just figure out a way. I would call it Rowan's way. Like they needed to get this message to like Cuba, to Teddy Roosevelt and the Rough Riders. And they gave the message to Rowan and Rowan didn't ask like, when should I leave? What ship should I take? You know, when I get there, is there going to be horses? Where am I going to sleep? He just got it done and got the message delivered in the middle of a war to the guy it needed to be delivered to with like war instructions. And so that's how, that's my take on it is just get it done. And so I went out there, I checked out the archives, you know, we understood what, what Don and the Napoleon Hill Foundation wanted. We knew what Russell wanted. And then eventually we were able to get them both what exactly what they wanted. You know, Russell wants the, the, the original manuscripts and the first editions and the typewriters and the artifacts to put into his library slash museum. And uh, the Napoleon Hill Foundation, uh, they want to raise money for scholarships. So kids, underprivileged kids, like basically coal miners, uh, daughters and sons, have access to the Napoleon Hill uh, courses uh, that are actually taught at uh, Virginia, uh, at Wise, Virginia. If you're like a lot of cannabis executives that I speak to, you know the struggle. Finding the right talent in this industry is not easy. Hiring in the cannabis industry is complicated, and the traditional job boards just don't tell you everything you need to know about a candidate. Are they badged? Are they reliable? Do they really know their stuff? That's why the leaders at the top cannabis companies turn to Vanks. Vanks provides all the tools you need to make the right cannabis hires from one central innovative dashboard. So whether you're looking for an on-demand temporary employee or a seasoned executive, Vanks is your one-stop shop to find qualified, ready-to-go workers that are the right fit for your company. Visit Vanks.com, that's V-A-N-G-S-T dot com, to learn more about the Vanks gigs, vetted, and marketplace products, and to find out why they're proud to work in cannabis. Well, in the meantime, every year in October, they have a board meeting uh, for the Napoleon Hill Foundation, and uh, they invited me, and I was just going to go by myself. Again, w- Rowan's way, and I was just going to get it done. So, um, as I'm, and I'm booking my ticket, and, and I'm, I'm letting, you know, Russell know what's going on, but, uh, you know, I'm assuming he's not going to go, because again, he doesn't travel much, he's got his family and his business, and he doesn't need to travel, uh, and so he's, and he traveled for like 15 years on the road to learn all these marketing secrets, going to masterminds and what have you. And so I just totally assume he's not going to go. And, and then all of a sudden I get like a, a voxer from him, something like talking to me about the timelines. And I was like, well, it's the 28th and of October and all this kind of good stuff. And then one thing leads to another and, uh, we're, <laughs> we're looking into, um, you know, getting the private plane fueled up and all this kind of stuff. And so, and then I was actually able to help uh, get the private plane secured uh, through a buddy of mine, Eric Sorensen, who's a pilot. And his buddy just bought a brand new Phantom 300. And uh, so we were able to get uh, that plane secured for basically the price of, ga- of gas, which is crazy. But as you know, it's one connection away, right? 
And so we all went out there on the private plane and we got a tour of the facilities and Don Green and, and Bob Johnson, the attorney with uh, the Point Hill Foundation were there and they, everyone just, just had a blast and they got to connect and, and, and there's so many other people that are on the board of the foundation that were just, just so happy that Russell and we had a party of like seven of us. We called ourselves hashtag Ocean Seven. You know, like from the movie where the seven of us each had our role and each had our, you know, specific reason why we were there. And, uh, yeah, after getting to talk with everybody and understanding the lay of the land, um, it, it's, you know, everybody wants to work together. And, and uh, it was, you know, sometimes you got to put the boots on the ground, like I say, and shake hands and, 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 and do the thing. And that's what we did. And, and from it, so many amazing things are going to happen. Uh, there's a, a book that I don't want to talk about yet because I don't want to ruin the surprise for Russell or anything, but there's a book that I didn't know about, he didn't know about, that uh, Bob had been working on that's right up the alley of uh, Russell and his, his entrepreneurial following, and, and uh, we're in the process of getting this unpublished manuscript that it has everything to do with Russell's current world uh, into Russell's hands so he can publish it, do some courses, do some fun uh, funnels and challenges and all that good stuff with it. So that's just one of maybe, I don't know, 10 other things that happened over this week uh, when we made the trip out to Wise, Virginia. So uh, I just wanted to share that with everybody and, and let you know that we really are just one connection away. In fact, Christopher Voss, who I talked about earlier, him and I are going to have a, uh, a basically it's a, it's a four hour just kind of summit or, or gathering that we're going to have online. We're going to bring in some great speakers that can talk to this about how you can just have one connection, can change your life forever, change your business, change your life uh, forever. And uh, if you want to sign up for it, it's free. You can go to the number one and then connectionaway.com. Again, that's the number one, connectionaway.com and get signed up and hear some more crazy stories like this. And I'm sure we'll have pictures of the of the private plane and the jet and all the cool stuff we did at Napoleon Hill and, 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 and give you insights for your life, for your business. Who would be that person that, that if you met, if, if you were able to um, have a relationship with, um, that would, you know, forever without a shadow of a doubt would change your business. And that's what we're going to talk about and how to turn their head and how to, how to, how to get them to, you know, pay attention. And, and then eventually the, 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 the plan is, have, uh, you know, fly in a private plane together. <laughs> I mean, that's what I did. But anyways, maybe, maybe, uh, no, uh, you know, the results may vary, but anywho, uh, we're going to have an awesome time. It's November 16th, uh, is when we're kicking it off and we may have some replays and some other things going on if you're hearing this later on. But again, it's the number one connection away.com get signed up and, uh, we'd love to share some more secrets, some more stories. We have some amazing speakers amazing speakers. We have actors and celebrities and, and just amazing connectors um, that can connect people with Tony Robbins or Oprah Winfrey or Elon Musk or Elton John, like Madonna, who do you want to, who do you want to, who is the person like we're doing it on the business side, but if you want to do it on the personal side, that's fine too. So again, I'm just so excited that we get to share uh, these amazing experiences with you and, and show you that anything's possible. Like we've talked about so many times on here, it's about the mindset. And, and now that we have this relationship with so many more, you know, influencers and celebrities and people with huge platforms, you know, we were sitting there in the plane, uh, you know, with Russell and he looked at me and he just gave me that, the question. And he was just like, so tell me your story. And so now Russell knows our story from the miracle plant and he knows about my son and he knows about the power of this miracle plant. And it took 18 months to have him ask me, what was, what's your story? I want to hear your story. And so sometimes you, it can take a long road to get to where you want to go, but it's worth it. I promise you. And now Russell knows in, you know, deep in his soul, what this mission is all about. And so connections and, and, and helping other people and having a definiteness of purpose, um, is what it's all about. And that's like rule number one, uh, in Napoleon Hill 17 principles. So again, I'm so happy that you tuned in. I hope this story was inspiring. I hope you join us at oneconnectionaway.com. And uh, I'm sure there'll be a lot more to talk about when it comes from the world of Napoleon Hill and Russell Brunson. And I just, 
we just uh, signed another um, agreement with a very, very cool, very big, um, uh, let's just say partner uh, that is uh, going to help us reach a billion people by 2025 and heal the world because that's what it's all about. So on the count of three, I'm going to say it by myself, but I want you to say it with me. Send those vibrations out there. Someone can feel it, hear it, find the miracle plant and try it for themselves. So on the count of three, let's say heal the world. One, two, three, heal the world. Take care, everybody. See you next week on the Miracle Plant Podcast. Thanks for listening to today's show. To check out more great cannabis podcasts, go to podconnects.com. Here's a preview of one of our other shows. Are you looking for the next great cannabis business to invest in? Then you need to check out the MJ Bulls podcast. Hi, I'm Dan Humston. Join me each week as I speak to both cannabis entrepreneurs who are raising capital and cannabis investors who are investing capital. Our 10-minute episodes are perfect for the busy investor. Start listening to the MJ Bulls podcast today, wherever you listen to podcasts, and who knows, maybe you'll discover the next cannabis unicorn.